Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, back with a video series. Uh, for those who doesn't know me, I'm a tarot card interpreter and in this series uh, we are going to check into our lovely week. <clears throat> in this particular video, in this particular case, it's going to be the week 27th of uh, February up until the 5th of uh, March 2023 now. How fast is the time running? And uh, the readings here are designed to focus on uh, our love and relationship life. It doesn't matter if you are in a relationship or a single, the card reads uh, for both of the situations, so to speak. <clears throat> and uh, if you do wish to have a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, uh, which link you will find in the description down below. And uh, there at the very front page, you are going to see full list of my services, also their pricing. And uh, I do any kind of reading, not just a love one, but <clears throat> for the sake of the video and for the purpose of the video, this is going to be our main focus. So what we're going to start with today, uh, that is to be... The collective. What the week in general will be in terms of a relationship, romance, and as well love. So let me uh, shuffle the cards and see what we have. So the first one <clears throat> that will be the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the second card here, which is uh, the uh, Chariot card. Afterwards, that will be the Eight of Pentacles. And uh, the final card, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, it's a very strong week. For all of us which uh, do not have a significant one around all right uh, it's uh, this is because of the eight of Pentacles which falls on the third position and the king of cups which falls on the last position of the spread those uh, those two cards and they strongly suggest that should we decide to show up in front of the world and announce not verbally though, but by showing ourselves out, um, that we are single, you know, but it's very important as well that we need to be ready to accept someone into our life. And uh, the, the, the whole process is going to happen, not exactly in a slow pace, but in, um, in a pattern, so to speak, things are not going to be head over heels right away. <clears throat> so if we do have such a standpoint, for what these cards are showing here, it is that by the end of this week, by the 5th of March, we should have rather a an approach, we should have rather um, a, a proposal, so to speak, to start dating, you know, hanging out or why not as well for a commitment. And now I need to burst that bubble a little bit. That is because of the chariot here, which falls into the second position of the spread. The chariot which falls into the second position of the spread and this is that should we decide to take on the offer right away uh, that card signifies that this offer it's or rather like the uh, acceptance of the offer itself it's a bit premature now i need to make a a differentiation here for a lack of a better word that is because the offer itself there is no need for us to deny it whatsoever but if we do take it right away what will happen is that along the way as we are dating with the person or as we are a uh, hanging out with them or kind of like interacting on a more deeper level we will see that it was a bit rushed because there are still things that we need to get to know about each other, right? Just so we can be more prepared, just so we can be more accustomed to the situation rather than jumping straight forward with our head first into this, um, into this interaction, into this um, situation. Another thing uh, that should you 
happen to start dating within the week as well um, that will be a very solid opportunity i cannot say that that will be d1 but it is a pretty damn close about it or next to it it's, it's the next best thing uh, to it it's uh, pretty indicative of that with um, if we do exclude the chariot here from the cards all right if we do exclude the chariot which is that says you should not reveal everything right away you know give the best of yourself right away with these three it's pretty indicative that that person is going to be a pretty solid not just only a choice but they do have a a lot to give for us <clears throat> moving forward into the future in terms of uh, romantic intentions love relationship why not family as well now when it comes to people who are already in relationships for what those cards are showing here is about a um uh, they do represent a leap into development into the relationship itself and they do refer to a plan or a preparation that is taking place within the relationship or within the marriage it doesn't have to be your plan or your preparation it could be your spouse's plan or a uh, or a, a preparation and this week that plan or a preparation is to be initiated is to be taken um <clears throat> taken forth with uh which it will be that leap into development now this plan or a preparation it could be a plan for proposal it could be a plan for a, a you know children it could be a plan for moving in together or buying a house whatever the case but it is something that it is quite indicative for a deeper commitment uh, moving forward into the existing relationship itself and the good thing about that about how that is that it cannot th this person cannot happen uh, cannot do it by themselves therefore you are to be warned about it or rather like asked although <laughs> asked it's a pretty strong um, statement here is because it, you feel like you are a victim of the circumstances that no matter are you asked or not or you are going to be asked in a such a way that pretty much saying no is out of the question still you are going to be asked about it <clears throat> Now the worst that can happen here and what you are not going to like that we are not going to or you because I'm not in a relationship but you are not going to like guys is that <clears throat> your spouse is going to brag a little bit with it coming from the chariot here into the second position itself because that shows a bit more pride all right that that card here shows a bit more pride than it has to and also a, a bit more for the lack of a better word, I'm going to say singularity, right? Where there you see, if it wasn't me, that relationship wouldn't move forward. But that's going to be just for a moment. And then, you know, you can have a that leap into development of the relationship itself. Moving together from there on moving forward, the relationship should be a lot more uh, lighter than before. What I mean is that it will have far less points of conflict and as well it will open up a field where you both can interact spontaneously with one another without um, being afraid that something kind of like bad or wrongly taken is going to happen in there right so that was uh, the collective and uh, now i am going to jump right away into aries you can track your star sign by the glyph being displayed here on the on the screen so let me shuffle and uh, see what Aries themselves will have to deal with when it comes to uh, love and relationship into the upcoming week. All right, so first card for Aries, uh, that will be the tower. Followed by the second card here, which stand for the star. Moving on next, uh, that will be the Eight of uh, Wands. 
and uh, the final card for Aries we do have the High Priestess right so whether you are in a relationship or not because the Tower card in the Eight of Wands does stand here into um, into this reading in a, such a situation it may happen that someone which you don't have much of an interaction if interaction at all guys is going to make a huge impression to you and is going to attract, uh, attract you the the attraction for some of you is going to be irresistible it's pretty much that person will create a insatiable hunger from your behalf to be with them can you do so for the time being yes but this if you are in a relationship right now this will prove to be devastating for whether your marriage or for whether your relationship uh, it's because we do have the high priestess at the start uh, at the end i'm sorry of uh, of the reading itself <clears throat> here okay the high priestess at the end of uh, the reading itself and that card suggests that once the interaction or the connection in between you two is established, is gonna linger there for the rest of your life. Okay. Therefore, it's, it's, it will happen to be a reason for you to, for example, cheat your uh, your spouse, and that is only if you are in a relationship or a you do have a you do have a marriage. So yeah to cheat your spouse or to straight away quit you know your marriage or uh, or your relationship to be with uh, the other person and the connection with this person who will create the insatiable hunger within you at least for the time being right now it will prove to be pretty volatile what I mean is that it will be like a roller coaster. One moment you're feeling great on the top of the world, and the next moment that individual does something or you do something, you know, because that's going to go both ways, uh, which is going to make you feel bad. It's going to make you feel hopeless. It's, it's the star card within the second position here Oops. Of, uh, of the spread itself, right? so within this position of that spread the star card pretty much points to unjustified unjustified hopes and, and not exactly beliefs but more like how can i put it into words more like when you do introduce each other and you do hang alone together it's kind of like you are going to imagine the best of the best that is going to come out of it and you are far far away from that manifestation the best of the best at least at that given moment so you you will have to clash with all the negativity that this interaction does present and that will be the source of the volatility of the um the interaction so is it really worth it Well, that is that is a question every single one of you has to answer. To me personally, if I was Aries, uh, that was not that wouldn't worth it. Another thing from those cards is that you, uh, especially if you're well, if you are a woman, right, you may end up uh, and you have the physical capability of doing so. Of course, uh, you may end up pregnant. Pregnant. Now, the Tower card being there at the very first position, uh, it may indicate a unplanned not unwanted unplanned um pregnancy right <clears throat> but long story short here you have to pretty much take it with a grain of salt or think twice before you dive into a unplanned unpredicted enterprises in term of a love and romance especially if it is a first sight impression a first sight love because it will be mistaken the passion will be mistaken for love and it is guaranteed for what these cards are showing here that the passion is going to transform into love but it is 
but the process itself may be more than you can handle. So if you are single, of course, it uh, it won't hurt you. I mean, yes, it's going to be a volatile, volatile interaction, but at the end of the day, for what those cards are to be believed, is going to work out for you only if you stay grounded. You do not fly into the cloud into the cloud nine, right? And you are objective about how that relationship can move forward in, instead of believing into a celluloid statements, right? And uh, fairy tales, so to speak. All right, so that was Aries. Now moving on next, we do have uh, Taurus. First one for Taurus, uh, that will be the moon. Followed by uh, the Two of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is the Seven of Pentacles. And the final one for you, Taurus, that will be the Chariot. All right. So, this spread pretty much shows, guys, that you are exactly where you need to be, all right? Having that moon into the first position, uh, it does point that whatever situation you are in, it's a essential, so to speak, so you can end up, or you are to end up, where you are meant to be at in terms of your love and romantic life. And ending up may not happen within the week, or even within the month, or maybe even within the year, but it's a, it is a, a, a confirmation, so to speak, that you are on the right track with your love life, even if right now you are kind of like feeling lonely, or that you are not attracting any attention. In fact, if you are not attracting any attention, that is the most indicative sign. It's because um, I know that it sounds cliche, but for what those cards are showing, your investments aren't worth it. I mean, emotional investments and investment of your world ain't worth it with the options available you do have right now. Things, if things aren't happening with someone that you do want, still the same thing for what those cards are showing here is that it simply isn't worth it. That is from the Seven of Pentacles into the third position. Basically, when that card is into the third position, it guards your investment in this particular case, love and romantically wise. So guards your emotions not to be invested into the wrong place where they are to be taken more than actually given in return, if anything is given in return at all. So the Two of Pentacles being into the second position here with uh, the uh, Moon card, with the Moon card at the first, those two, they are talking about that you aren't doing anything wrong. Your concepts in terms of uh, relationship in general, what type of relationship you want, with what kind of a person you want that relationship, how that relationship is to develop, and etc. etc. They are dead right right so they are pretty much spot on and should the current situation does not give you such or it does not live up to your expectations your criteria your plans if you will there is going to be one which is about to so you know in in my private readings very often i do hear the question am i ever going to find love in my life uh, here, safely, I can say that you, the very least Taurus, you who are watching that video, because um, these readings are meant for you guys, you are going to, right? Without a shadow of a doubt here, uh, you are going to. Now, by the end of the week, um, the chariot can interpret itself in a very, uh, in a quite a few ways, depending on what kind of a state you are going to be. Some of you may find what you are meant to find, the love that you are meant to find, and you will consider that being a wish fulfillment here, that is how the chariot stands. 
others who doesn't find anything the chariot stands for normalizing the tension within thy emotions being now convinced that if things aren't working out with uh, current options available then it means that you do deserve better that is something that you're going to convince yourself uh, into and for others for third the chariot stands for a self indulgement in a sense of like self sufficient not indulgement but self sufficiency where you know you don't meet anything that falls within your criteria and therefore um you kind of like adopt the standpoint that you don't need anything that does not fall within those criteria whatsoever and you can wait for as long as it uh, it's needed to be uh, to be waited for uh, those of you guys who are already uh, in a relationship here for what those cards are showing is that you are doing quite right regardless of what the situation is within your relationship if things aren't going well i am not here to judge but if things aren't going well they are not going well because of your last actions or the last things you said it's because of uh, the seven of pentacles here and the moon card being into the first position and uh, the last actions and things you said are setting the stage for what is supposed to happen within your love life uh, and within your relationship as well and when it happens regardless of the outcome you will uh, with that chariot being there um, you will feel very proud of yourself of how things turned out within your marriage or uh, within your current relationship All right so uh, next we do have uh, Gemini Uh, first one for Gemini, that will be the Four of Swords, followed by uh, the Page of Pentacles. Moving on next, uh, that will be the Seven of Cups. And the final one, that will be the Four of Pentacles. Okay. To the page of pentacles we do have the three of cups so either way no matter what that is something i do not like to see because you know we all been there we all had been there and maybe some of us guys some of you are still there right now so what we what do we have here is that individual being displayed into the second position the page of pentacles with the three of cups and that is a person who has a strong emotions towards you now they may have not revealed those emotions yet in fact most likely they haven't but they are about to with uh, under the energy of the four of swords now because this is in the second position that means one of the two things whether you do not share them I mean the emotions that that person has or whether the friendship that you have with that person or whatever type of uh, interaction you do have uh, together a business partnership friendship uh, or whatever right uh, what's more than sacrificing it for intimacy I don't know why but it is what those cards are showing here and so the primary thing uh, for you Gemini it will be that you do this display or rather like explain to that individual why things won't work out but this but display it or rather like explain it in a, such a way that instead of creating another problem solves the problem so if that person is your friend that has emotions towards you right um you deny that friend of yours in a such a way that you do not lose the person as a friend itself and obviously that's a pretty tough uh, situation 
okay if you are already married or if you uh, do have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and that is a third person who displays emotions towards you you don't want to hurt the woman or the guy whatever the case and so you have to be very subtle and very gentle uh, simultaneously all right uh, with um, the denial that you are to serve whatsoever if you do decide to go down that road so with the four of swords that uh, your love life into the upcoming week is going to be more about or the primary topic of your love life is going to be uh, talking about your emotions your feelings how do you feel about one thing or another all right and uh solving problems with those conversations with those contemplations as well now the good thing about whole thing having that seven of uh, seven of cups into the third position over here okay seven of cups into the third position the good thing about the whole situation is that you can go anywhere you want i mean if you do decide you can even make a love triangle from the whole thing but things are not going to work in the long run that is uh, very well for either of the party of the whole thing because seven of cups works best when the the, the person is grounded otherwise it leads to a disappointment not to a tragedy not to a problem to disappointment where you will have to or the person who is under that energy will have to backtrack a few steps and do the things the right way this time uh this time around but nonetheless by the end of the week what you need to do in terms of your love life is to establish a certainty in a future that is whether friendship or whether relationship with that person okay and um i i don't know i don't want to make a choice for you gemini but according to these cards friendship is to be preferred but whatever the case okay you have to display the expectations and the rules pretty openly whichever route you want to go forward with because otherwise there will be quite a lot of issues going down the road if you keep a silent treatment for one thing or another with that individual which is the page of pentacles someone that you do already know which uh, has an emotions towards you now if you do have children that may happen to be a child of yours which will be more demanding than it should be and then the week will refer around you explaining that child of yours that it must become a little bit more can i put it into words uh, i don't know the exact english word a singular in a sense of taking care of himself with the mundane stuff okay like i don't know flushing down the toilet and these kind of stuff you know or having a shower by itself and so on and so forth so moving next we do have cancer uh four of wands it's the first one for cancer followed by uh the five of cups moving on next that will be the six of wands and a final one it's the ten of pentacles so this reading touches a quite of a few situations it's very broad it applies to almost every single experience when it comes to uh, love and relationships so we'll try to be brief here now what the week is going to be about for you cancer is a finalizing a a drive finalizing a a, a pattern like if you are 
trying to enthrall someone and that will be the week where you round that person and pretty much they have no escape whatsoever from your mesmerizing gaze that's just a joke but bottom line it is that it seems that you are gonna get a uh, quite of a substantial stepping stone in your deeds in terms of love and relationship moving forward and it will be rewarded i mean your tenacity I do apologize. Your tenacity, your consistency, right? Your efforts in general in terms of um, love and romance are going to be rewarded within the upcoming week. Although the rewards may not be everything you had expected. That is for the Five of Cups being into the second position here of the spread. And that shows a couple of things, whether... It shows that you may think at that point that you deserve more, more recognition, more commitment, all right, more sex, for example, or uh, more gifts, whatever case, whatever it is your thing, okay. Or it may signify that you are unhappy of uh, not the state, but rather the form. You are unhappy of the form. You may thought, for example, that you are going to move in living together at his or her place, but instead you are moving together at your place. All right. So that will be something temporary. And for what those cards are showing here is that you should not dwell upon it because it's changeable. It is under, how can I put it into words? It is under construction, so to speak, that particular aspect. And a few weeks down the road, you can definitely change the circumstances around what makes you feel unsatisfied, disappointed, and even kind of like it may create the feeling of um, uh, that you have lost opportunity. And you haven't. It is just a partial one or a temporary disappointment. And things can be fixed moving down the road. So nonetheless... Whether you are slightly disappointed or not, the week is going to be considered very rewarding when it comes to love and romance for you, especially if you are chasing someone, right, and you want to make an impression. You want to be with someone in general. You are going to make a significant progress throughout the week under the energy of that um, four of wands being at uh, being at the first position and it is like the, the, this reading shows that you cancer are gonna step into the next level into that drive or within the relationship you do already have because every development that you're trying to establish up until this point had finished its cycle and now it's time to expand that development into uh into something bigger uh the results of all that here, having the Ten of Pentacles, actually there are going to be few results. Now the first one, it is that you will feel much more comfortable in the presence of your love interest. Whether that's your wife or a husband, whether that's your boyfriend or a girlfriend, whether that's the person of interest you do have. It's just you're going to be so much more confident and so much more comfortable within the present that you know what you're doing and you are in the right direction in general and the other thing it is that uh it will the uh, the situation you both have are going to be so much more detached and independent from the exterior right uh, your relationship with your spouse is going to be more uh, more independent from his or yours or yours family for his hers or yours family than before so uh, there is going to be far less exterior influence over your relationship than before and if you right now think wait a minute i don't have love interest i don't have a spouse so what is this reading showing to me well the cards got you covered ten of pentacles at the end you are about to and that is a person from your past. Now, before you shoot the messenger here and say, I don't want my ex, that narcissist or whatever. It may not be your current ex. It may be your high school sweetheart or, uh, you know, the boy or the girl that you play the most in your daycare. That is someone from your past, not your recent ex who broke your heart. 
for example. All right, uh, next we do have Leo. Uh, we do have the Emperor for Leo, followed by the Two of Wands. Moving on next, that's going to be the Four of Cups. And the final card for you guys uh, will be the Seven of Swords. Ooh, that's quite... Uh, tense very strong and uh i don't want to use the word stifling but it's pretty close to that so what we do have here within this week it is that there is going to be a sequence that you will i don't want to say have to but it will be the only logical thing for you to follow so you can present yourself reliable and consistent enough in order to make either an impression or to make your point in general especially if uh, you are finding yourself currently within the uh within the existing relationship now this sequence is going to be it's not going to actually touch mm, the accomplishments that you want to proceed forward with so it will happen to be somewhat of a so to speak destruction so you are going to be distracted with uh with this sequence that you will have to follow rather than put more efforts into the direction when it comes to your love life and romance that you would uh that you would want to follow that you would want to uh want to develop by moving forward now that could be seen from your behalf as a um a waste of time but it isn't now we do have the four of cups okay into the third position and that card being into that position especially in this follow-up it speaks for it, it's like a fork in the road yes it could be your way but that way that you will have to follow now as a pattern, as a, as a sequence, it's equally good. Only if you decide to, I don't know how to put it into English, um, be objective about it, so to speak. Put your mind into it rather than, emo rather than your emotions, that it is not what you want to do at that given moment. So you, Leo, it's not like you will have to be the follower into this week when it comes to your love and romance. But it, it, you, you have to be someone who shows that you can follow a, a rules, that you can be consistent, that you can be someone whom um others can rely on that is especially if you are uh if you are single right now and you are trying to establish relationship with a someone in already existing relationship guys uh these cards are showing that you will be able to mitigate and not just only mitigate but face and handle all the ups and downs that your marriage or your current relationship presents to you with uh uh, let's put it that way in a moderate to an easy way and so no matter what is thrown your way you will be able to sustain and also if you do decide to follow uh, the sequence the rules uh, improve your current marriage and uh, your current relationship and you may think that this fellowship that you will have to do will bear no fruits but you are wrong because somehow at the end with that seven of uh, swords okay so somehow at the end the other side or the other people the other person will feel the the, the incentive that they owe you something and that will be the moment where you are gonna stop 
step or, or rather like stand your ground and you have a choice are you gonna make a demand or are you gonna leave it that way and just try to enjoy what had been established and should something be established within the week in terms of uh, love and romance it should be something almost as close as being a rock solid rock solid relationship rock solid friendship rock solid marriage as well because the pattern it will be already shaped and pretty well developed from both of you all right so that was uh, leo now moving on next we do have Virgo. We do have the lovers for you guys. Followed by uh, the Nine of Cups. Moving on next, that will be the Nine of Swords. And the final card for you, Virgo, the Death card. So mainly touches uh, you guys who are single, okay? So I'm gonna say a couple of words for all of you Virgo who are already in relationship. How those cards stands are standing. It is that the time had arrived that you will have to accept your partner with uh, everything they bring, the good and the bad, and that will be the week of a decision are you comfortable with having them that way do you love them for all they are or do you not okay so at the end of the week that find so to speak will be the find which is going to play a, a, a vital role into whether uh, transforming or ending that relationship further down the road so it's a it's a week of a personal contemplation do you really love the person you are with for all they are so if you want to change them or if you want them to change about something do something in a different way or speak in a different way or not saying certain stuff then you don't love everything they bring on the table you want them to be something different so you do not love them for who they are that is according to the cards not me i'm just saying the philosophy behind those cards so that will be and by the end of the week you will have to scale can you live with it or not or you should scale can you live with it or not now for all of you virgo who are single it's very possible that this week there will be an unexplainable pull we have the lovers here that is when it doesn't make any sense to kind of like um, be attracted to one or another to someone but you are okay you are attracted now, what will happen out of this attraction depends on your choices and depends on your <coughs> decisions. But the attraction is going to be mutual, right? So, under the philosophy of the lover's card, you both are going to be very different. So, what you are, the other person is going to be not, and what they aren't, or rather like what they are you are not and that way you can bind and you become one whole instead of the same thing on is instead of the same thing twice meaning that this person is going to have different hobbies different kind of a social circle is going to listen to different music is going to like different type of movies it's just almost everything is going to be different but on a spiritual level you will be very similar i mean you are going to be quite equal being there 
And it all falls to that. Can you accept each other for the differences? Are those differences that you do have going to make you special to one another? Or they are going to be like most of the cases a reason to say, no, I, be, I don't want that thing to happen because it's going to be too much of a, of a difficulty, you know, to get along with, uh, with, with that individual. So by the end of the week, you will have to, you also going to have a decision to make just like those who are in a relationship is that are you going to abandon the comfort zone and try to see where this is going to lead you to? Because for what those cards are showing here is going to lead you to a brand new world. Or are you going to let it go? Are you going to pass on it? That is entirely up for you to decide. Remember, there is no right or wrong choice here under the philosophy of the lover's card. It all comes to that what your preferences are. But whatever consequences you are doom and glooming about, they are going to be far less than you think. And um, a guidance... You may ask, well, then what is the best choice for me to do? Well, we do have the Nine of Swords into the third position. And that speaks that the best choice for you guys is going to be conquer your fear. So if you are afraid to do something, then you got to do it. And it has to fall within, you know, the law. Because doing anything unlawful, it's not a good thing at all. But if you are afraid of doing something, for example, going out with that guy or a girl, right, or saying that you like them and you are afraid of what consequences that is going to bring, say it. Because the consequences for what those cards are showing here, they are going to work in your favor. All right, that was Virgo. Now moving on next, we do have uh, Libra. Ace of Cups for Libra. Followed by the Sun. Moving on next, we do have uh, the Queen of Pentacles. And the final one that going that's going to be the Nine of Wands. So to the Queen of Pentacles, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So I want to let me have a sip here. I will start with that for you, Libra. This may not be your ex, but definitely we do have an individual who is stepping in for you this week in terms of uh, romance and love, right? Individual who is stepping up towards you that um, not just only they think, but that's the truth that there is still unfound potential in between you two. That doesn't have to be someone whom you don't have any connection with whatsoever. For what I know, and for how those cards are standing, that could be your current wife or husband or boyfriend or a girlfriend whom wants to develop the full potential of the interaction, the relationship, the marriage that you do have could be some, a co-worker of yours who sees you romantically and they think, you know, just only think, but they scale very well that a, a beautiful thing can happen in between you two. Bottom line is that is an individual who sees you as a unfound potential, as an unfound gem or unpolished, I'm sorry, gem uh, for their life. And uh, that will be the week where, you know, they uncover that. So within this week, you may be stunned to realize that you, or rather like to be to be said or to be shown, because they usually work through showing rather than saying, 
<clears throat> to be shown that um, you mean far more than you think for your spouse and that you are seen in a quite a different way than just you know the common friend or just a co-worker at work or at the social circle and that you can go far further and for far more with this individual this will be like a uh, a severe change in your circumstances right a severe change that is going to transcend your reality into a much more lovely experience than um than usual uh, and uh it will basically that sun that we do have into the second position here guys right that sun that we do have that is when one is melted it's kind of like it drops your guard you don't know what you what you are supposed to do here uh, it's just you know your heart breaks when it comes to that you have to look at uh, skeptically and ask questions about it you know and in generally put your guard up uh, which is going to be not like not exactly a bad thing but it will be a sensible thing uh, for you to do because there are definitely questions that you should ask for example how do you see us moving together uh, and that is an important question because um that person one more time the queen of pentacles uh with the uh, knights of pentacles they do already figured it out in a sense of that they do have a quite a, a, a practical or a pragmatic whichever word you want to use here a plan how you both are to move forward whether within the existing marriage relationship or a something that they want to form from now moving forward and uh it will make a lot of sense but it is very strict it's it's kind of like it's very consistent small simple steps moving forward and if you don't ask about it obviously you ain't gonna know about it and uh it's it will create these situations of tension rather than a pleasant experience because that's what you are off for uh libra a an experience that you are gonna freaking love it guys okay so that will hit the most those who had lost hope in love and in um in generally sharing thy life with someone else so it's gonna hit you who are uh who had a uh tough breakups for your entire life and you just kind of like lost the hope that love actually exists in this world the universe is going to prove you that yes it does and it's it all comes to that are you gonna reach out and take it so you may ask then what is the nine of wands at the end you know well the nine of wands it is the uh, uh no what is the word here um not the agility it is the adaptability of the whole whether marriage or a, or a relationship or a interaction dating and whatever what that card means it is that you can exert a conscious changes here right within this plan that that person has but only if you know the plan and only if you do um kind of like consider those changes with the person uh, with the person itself but definitely you can shape the future experience the way that is going to make you feel comfortable and also the way that is going to make you feel good as well all right so next we do have scorpio Uh, first one for Scorpio, the High Priestess, followed by the Ace of Cups. Moving on next, that will be the Three of Pentacles. And the final one, it is the Page of Pentacles.
so two two ways how this reading can manifest whether we are going to connect with someone on a very very deep level okay and i'm saying we because i am scorpio sun so we are going to connect with someone on a very deep level that is very close to soulmates or because the high priestess doesn't guarantee that what it guarantees it is that such connection is going to happen not necessarily now basically the high priestess it is when whether um uh, it, it's when you are set off for that no, 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 you you're set off for that and no matter what the next thing it is what that 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 it is that thing that happens so this is manifesting depending on your current situation let me give you an example guys let's say that right now you're dating someone right and it's just you don't feel it you are hoping that you're going to feel something you're hoping that you know things are going to get better and things are going to get more deeper and all that but they just don't uh, that is because it's just there 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 is no potential for that connection on a soul level and eventually the high priestess is a clear sign that eventually such an individual is gonna show up actually this breeds a lot of confidence in me because i kind of gave up on such a thing but who knows so this uh, basically that card here the high priestess for a scorpio it kind of shows that this um week is going to be decided whether our current interest or current partner has a potential to build that connection on a on a soul level with us and if it doesn't well they simply are gonna go whether in this week or in the next few months and it will they are going to be replaced with uh, someone who is capable of on uh, that connection now the ace of cups being into the second position it kind of shows a uh, pink color glasses so to speak or purple col color glasses uh, in my language the expression is a pink or color glasses where you know you see everything from the bright side of life and it's kind of like when we are interpreting everything the best way that it suggests to be interpreted and uh, that will be i can't really say a big mistake okay but it may lead to certain disappointments now for example someone makes a gest uh, a gesture to you and uh, you immediately think that they are romantically interested in you or they love you or whatever so what what is going to be important here scorpio and i have to kind of like write that thing for me down is to talk about it very very important three of pentacles right hold on a second three of pentacles at the third position and that is talking seriously about the future with the person you are dating with uh, your spouse husband or a wife a love interest as well because if you do have love interest and they don't know about it that doesn't serve anybody i mean yeah they can deny you but the very least you will know is it something possible to happen with them or not and that is what is to be decided here throughout the week is it possible what you are striving for what you are yearning for to happen within the existing circumstances if not can the circumstances change and if not well at least you are not gonna waste your time so instead of uh, uh diving yourself and kind of like swimming in a ocean of emotions um, we have to be more objective and provoke those fruitless discussions about the future and how what we want can be supported if it can at all be supported in the current circumstances and if it cannot then we need to change those circumstances because one way or another here Scorpio by the end of the week here um, having the uh, page of pentacles at the end of the reading it means that you will be pretty determined and devout into accomplishing certain results which are gonna worth it for us and those results what those results are going to be will be determined from those 
fruitful discussions which may transform into a fruitful cooperations depending on you know the circumstances surrounding them so a few examples here guys that may be the discussion of you having a child with say your boyfriend or a girlfriend say with your spouse and whether and through those discussions will be revealed are they even want to have a child at all right now and uh, do they want to have it with you okay so for some of you are going to be resounding yes for others will be resounding no uh, but the very least the bottom line here is that you are gonna know and that knowing will set a devotion to seek that results uh, to seek that result whether elsewhere or whether determine yourself to reach it within the existing uh within the existing circumstances one way or another that is gonna set off uh, set us off on a path of finding what will connect with our soul on emotional and the level of love and we are going to find it sooner rather than later All right um so that was scorpio now moving on next we do have uh, sagittarius Uh, Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius, followed by uh, the Ace of Swords. Moving on next, we do have uh, the Chariot. Afterwards, uh, that will be the King of Wands. Okay, so this uh, this reading is more of a warning than anything else so what the reading shows for you Sagittarius is that in terms of your love life and uh and relationship there are things which are unspoken and um i would i can't really say hidden more like unrevealed okay and they're most likely from your behalf here so this reading warns you that at this given stage and they don't have to be something you know staggering or whatever at least not for you they could be something quite mundane for your standards but a staggering from the other person's standards all right but bottom line is that there is uh, an information that is not shared and uh, those and that is primarily from your behalf not from the other side's behalf and those cards are warning you that within this week okay before you actually say something, whether to criticize, whether to, in generally to express your honest opinion, you first need to research the soil and try to predict how it's going to be taken, how it's going to be handled, because you're going to have the ability to do so. It's pretty much if you do focus on the details of your saying, of your actions as well, you will be able to scale and scope, you know, how your person of interest or your spouse or your boyfriend or a girlfriend, husband or a wife will take it on, right? And they are going to handle it. And uh, that will prepare you for a further reaction, right? Bottom line is that this week pretty much says that in terms of your romantic life, the dignity does not dictate the whole truth to be told, but only that part of it which is needed, which is essential, and which can be taken in a way that is not going to damage your um, your current relationship. The other the other side of it, it is just it's not going to serve any favor but to disrupt the uh, to disrupt the situation so why this is important well it is because according to those cards uh, this week is going to be the uh, the turning point or rather like the verge of where uh, uh, quite of an ambitious enterprise is going to take place within your existing love life that is within your existing love life that is something that you have prepared for or something you have planned about whether you planned 
to ask someone out okay that also falls within those criteria so you have plans to go out with someone who invited you out all right or you have plans to ask your wife or a husband for something okay and here you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot saying things or revealing things that are going to give leverage to the other side whether that leverage is used for good or for bad that doesn't matter it will be against you right so yeah while this reading for you sagittarius uh, touches the love and romance it, that is primarily uh, it's primarily go uh, those cards are advising you to think of yourself first and foremost throughout the week. Think of how what you are to do or ask about will affect you personally, how it will affect your plans, how it's, how are going to, how it's going to affect your preparation. And if it's not going to affect your plans or preparation in any way, then you say it or it's going to affect your plan or a preparation in a positive way as well. Now, if it happened that you start dating this week it's even though a bit premature uh, it will it should work out very very well for you you can expect a lot of passion and by the end of the week you should have uh, an opening rather or a uh, how can i put it into words a predisposition let's put it that way to have a lot of fun with uh, your chosen one if you do have a such a person now if you don't all that you gotta do is step out or go out on a pub, on a bar, on a disco, and you will be the chosen one, not for one, but for many. And probably you get to choose who is going to be your chosen one as well. Right, so that was uh, for Sagittarius. Now moving on next, we do have Capricorn. Uh, first one for Capricorn, that will be the Ace of Swords. Followed by uh, the Page of Cups. Moving on next, uh, that will be the Two of Cups. And then it is uh, the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> I am laughing. Uh, the additional one to the page of cups uh, that will be uh the hangman i am laughing here and the hangman is just a confirmation that uh, you know that is a little bit like a uh, teenagers asking how much do you love me you know that that is literally the situation is basically what happens here is that you are about to corner someone that you know that or, or and they may have said it before you know that they have a an emotions toward you that could be even your current wife or a husband all right that you very well know that they do have emotions toward you but you are going to corner them and squeeze them like um like a cheese you know you're going to squeeze them like you are squeezing the i don't know i don't know what examples to give you but you ain't gonna let go until they squeal the truth about how much they love you and <laughs> that will be cast in stone all right i mean they won't be able to take their word away from it but again okay as a general reading these are potential so you have to open up the topic here with the ace of swords and you you need to be tenacious about it right because with that hangman being with the page of cups into the second position maybe you are expecting that individual to divulge it by themselves uh, that's not going to happen soon right it will happen eventually in a five years from now for example but having that five uh, but, but having that hangman there with the page of cups do you know what that means this is a person that waits for the perfect moment all right for the perfect moment at the perfect place uh with the perfect circumstances we all know that that that's kind of like uh environment never comes around so and even if it comes around 
it's still there mood is not going to be perfect or your your dress is not going to be perfect or you will say something that is going to make them uh uncertain and so on and so forth so you have to take the the lead here you will have to take the initiation and press them to divulge it now it's very important for the week your standpoint okay having that two of cups being into the third position uh, that car doesn't cast a shadow of a doubt that there will be a divulgement of emotions here from both sides but it needs to be very honest and open what i mean is that you should not try to wriggle your way through kind of like suggesting or or, or or making it seem like it is not a big deal for you it needs to be uh deprived of, of, of any pride or a or a shyness all right or a uh, uh what was the word here mm, ego as well okay so it's as this person divulges their emotions you have to do it as well in fact for some of you it will be the other way around once you do it they will feel obliged to do it as well but this is the week where the truth needs to be spoken i mean the real truth okay not the one you want to hear not the one the other person wants to hear not the half truth the real the whole of it and that truth is going to ensure and secure your love life okay you will basically going to establish a certainty of your love life into the upcoming week if you open up the subject and if you speak the real truth about how you feel and you demand that from the other side as well Right, uh, moving next, we do have Aquarius. Uh, first one for Aquarius, uh, that will be the Seven of uh, Swords. Followed by the Two of Swords. Moving on next, uh, we do have the Moon. And the final one for Aquarius, uh, that will be the Eight of Wands. Okay. So that is uh, the moment where enough is enough. Okay. And uh, basically, you guys slam your, your hand, your fistful on the table. And pretty much request, I don't want to use the word demand, but it comes pretty close to that. So request the attitude, the respect, and in generally the behavior you do deserve in your social circle or in your relationship or from, uh, you know, your person of interest. That, that is the energy of, uh, of those cards. Now that two of swords here into the second position it pretty much speaks that you have waited long enough no matter what and and that is the week where you have to we because i am also a rising aquarius we have to show up a strong backbone and make a claim right make a claim over one situation or another make a claim over one person or another make a claim of of you know what we think we deserve especially when it comes to existing relationship and you feel that you are mistreated and you hope that this is going to change with time or you know the other person uh, that is mistreating you is going to grow brain that's not happening unless you do make your stand and you demand what have what you have been owed and no matter are they gonna give it or not that is gonna set us off a a destination where we are gonna get it because uh, the moon card standing into the third position it only des describes that, that is our own uh, that is our only right move here okay our only right move stop sacrificing ourselves for the sake of others which are not giving anything in return this time around for us to do something for ourselves for a change and once we take on that standpoint we will 
because I don't know how the situation is going to turn around, okay? It will be very situational and, uh, and it's going to be very different for every single uh, Aquarius. But no matter what, once we do make our stand and we make a claim of what we do deserve for our life, okay? Uh, we will see many places where we can receive it from. So it is not a race against the time. It's not a race against the clock from the other, from our behalf, but it should be from the other. It's not a question, can we get it? It is a question from where we are going to get it. And if uh, the other side kind of like wants to be with us, they will have to race to give it to us before you actually find it elsewhere. So that reading is very strong for all of you Aquarius who are feeling that you are uh, smothered beneath thy toe, that you are a, um, stifled within one relationship, constrained and all that. That is the week where you will have to make your stand by demanding an appropriate equal treatment. Okay, And if it's not given by your current spouse or a boyfriend that will open your eyes for the sources that can give it to you that can live up to to that humane expectation right and it is up to you what kind of an action you're going to take from there but how you may ask how you are going to make your stand well i cannot make a choice for you but what the guidance of the cards is is that whenever you think of a way and you feel emotionally uncertain about it that is your way that is how the moon card pretty much operates mm -hmm. right and uh last but not least we do have pisces Uh, moon for Pisces, uh, followed by uh, the Ace of Wands. Moving on next, uh, that will be the Hermit, uh, the Hierophant, I'm sorry. So that will be the Hierophant. And the final one for Pisces, that is the Chariot. Okay. So this reading uh, primarily relates and affects people who are having a doubt. Should I give it a go or not? Or should I stay or go? And uh, what the reading shows, it is that this is your best option available, okay? To whether give it a go or to whether give it another chance. It's basically with that Ace of Wands, that card there into the second position speaks that there is no more gaining for enterprise around for this very moment and not to mention the hierophant into the second into the third position here speaking that you know uh well i don't want to give you an uh, assessment here okay but the hierophant states that if you give it a time uh you will grow you both Okay, are going to grow a mutual reliability and respect for one another, which is going to be one of the best foundations where love can pretty much thrive. Not to mention the moon card, which speaks that your um, destinies have been bond, bonded together in a certain way, whether for a, rom a romance or some kind of a, uh, a lesson that you need. At the very least, it does refer to some kind of a lesson that you need to learn from one another, okay, through that interaction that you do have, and the time haven't came yet at all, you know, to part ways whatsoever. This is a uh, a reading showing here that, you know, you are 
moving into the right direction by being where you are and thinking of the touching and taking another way it's just not right for what those cards are showing okay and by the end of the week it seems that uh, the colossal and mighty efforts to make the things work one way or another whether with a um person of interest of yours uh, your current spouse uh, or, or any kind of a uh, love incentive here are going to start and while it will be quite i don't want to say challenging i don't want to say difficult it will be um quite effortly intensive so to speak like in the gym you know and you will feel tired you will feel in pain but it's gonna be that sweet sweet pain after a workout after a jogging knowing that you know you made progress okay and that you are one step closer to your wish fulfillment because that's what we're talking about here guys is that if you do decide to take the easy routes it's a route that definitely doesn't lead you to uh, your wish fulfillment. So, yeah, you made a choice back in the days. Don't deviate from it right now. Don't deviate, but give it a, if you will, a one last chance. Because for what those cards are showing here, it's going to work for you this time around. Through, once again, that is very important to establish mutual respect reliability and trust so if something happened for example that undermined your trust and that is the reason why uh, you want to leave your wife or your husband okay try to uh, not try but how can i put it into words ask them what they would do in order to earn your trust back give them a way to earn your trust back and they will okay that will be the mighty efforts and of course your mighty efforts are going to be about you trusting them again kind of like challenging yourself to trust them again and things are going to work out for what those cards are showing all right guys so that uh, was your lovely week hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other around until then Bye.